2020 has been a challenging year for everyone. Luckily with the camper, we've been able to travel and still stay socially distant. It's mid-September now, and we are heading to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. The things I want to cross off my bucket list are crossing the Mackinac Bridge and taking the historic Badger Ferry across Lake Michigan. Here we go. We decided to spend the first two nights at Gladstone Bay Campground in Gladstone. It was a little challenging getting to the campsite as a lot of the streets were closed for road construction, but we did make it. We ended up the same campsite we stayed at two years ago. Today we decided to explore the area around Manistique, Michigan, just up to the east of Gladstone. a break uh, to enjoy the early morning sun in the calm waters and even the seagulls got the message about social distancing. Now it's time for lunch and I get to have the food that the UP is most famous for, the pasty. After lunch, we checked out the waterfront area. headed west to Stonington Peninsula. There we passed by a junkyard. I stopped to ask if there was any Pintos. They said they had one. So of course I had to go back and check it out. Gravel road, no problem. We just slowed down and enjoyed the fall foliage. Back at the campsite, I took a walk along the lake shore to see the damage caused by the high lake levels. We braved the 40 degree temperatures for a campfire, but soon we treated to the nice warmth of the camper. Just north out of Gladstone, we found this interesting bird sculpture on the side of the road. Of course, we had to stop and take a picture. Then we went down Power Dam Road just north of there to check out Haw Train Falls. Shortly after passing by Haw Train Lake, we arrive on the shore of Lake Superior. Thanks to 
carrier. Test east of Bawtrain is the town of Christmas. The Bay Furnace Campground and Bay Furnace Ruins are located there. The Bay Furnace Ruins are registered as a National Historic Place. On the beach below the furnace, there's lots of interesting rocks and chunks of slag left over from the furnace. We then took a drive through the campsite. It was very nice. In case you didn't know what that big blue thing is to the right, they have a sign. Just down the road is Munising. The biggest attraction is the Pitcher Rock National Lakeshore boat tours that leave from the world waterfront. We did not have time to do this today. We'll have to save that for another trip. Today we joined the Munising Bay Car Cruisers Car Club for a 45-mile drive to Grand Marais and a car show at the end along the Hurricane Highway. It'll be a lot of fun. Before leaving town, we did a rolling car show for the residents of the Metal Lodge Nursing Home. Please escort out of town and then hit the open road. This area receives on average 300 inches of snow in the winter and half the road going to Grand Marais from Munising is closed and turned into a snowmobile trail. There's something most people don't see every day. After the car show, we headed south to Big Cedar Campground for the night. It's our campsite for the night. Decided not to unhitch. We're going to just be here for the night. Water and electric. So, uh, beautiful, right on the Manistique River. morning we headed southeast along Highway 2 on the long sandy shoreline of Lake Michigan. We pulled over and I got my first glimpse of the Mackinac Bridge. Before crossing the bridge, we had one more stop. I was hungry.
construction of the Mackinac Bridge started in May of 1957. It was open for traffic on November 1st, 1957. The total length of the bridge is five miles long. The roadway at its highest point is 199 feet above the streets. If you look at a map, you'll notice Mackinac Bridge and Mackinac City have two different spellings. They are both pronounced the same though, with the naw sound. Michigan's Tunnel of Trees M119 starts on the northern end of Cross Village. We headed south. we were able to get a waterfront site at the Instalage campground and even had time for a fire. Hi, Donna. Hi, Dave. <laughs> Taking pictures of each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a beautiful fall sunset. This morning we took the Badger Ferry from Ludington, Michigan to Manitowoc, Wisconsin. You can't drive on, so we parked in the staging area and walked on, and then watched them drive the Pinto on. The SS Badger was built in 1953 in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. It is the last coal-fired passenger ship operating on the Great Lakes. On board, there is a museum. There are two passenger decks on the ship. The upper one, you can walk all the way around the outside of the ship. The 
When you're out in the middle part of the voyage, you lose the sight of land. Also on board is a movie theater, arcade and lounge, and a cafeteria for food. patiently for them to drive the Pinto off because it was one of the last ones on it was one of the last ones off I think they must so have my gone. first pasty First pasty. Wait, you're in your own life. My first pasty, and I'm gonna try it with gravy. No, we're not. We're not allowed to look at the bridge. <laughs> we went over the whole bridge, and I wasn't actually able to look at If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified next time I upload a video. Thank you.